The Third Battle of Wonju, was a series of engagements between North Korean, and United Nations forces during the Korean War. The battle took place from 13 to the 18th of February 1951 north of the South Korean town of Wonju. While the Korean People's Army achieved some initial successes, their attacks petered out in the face of strong UN defenses and as their supply lines became overstretched and by the 18th of February they had begun to withdraw across the entire front. Chapter 1 Background As UN forces reeled under the attack on Hong Song by the People's Volunteer Army 13 Army Group and KPAV Corps, on 12 February U.S. ex-Corps Commander General Edward Armand met with 8th Army Commander General Matthew Ridgway and advised him that he planned to give up Hong Song and defend Wonju. His formal order issued late in the day called for the U.S. 2nd Infantry Division, with the 187th Airborne Regimental Combat Team attached, to defend a long line which from an anchor on the west at Chipyongni stretched out to the southeast and east, passing two miles north of Wonju and continuing nine miles beyond the town. In the right portion of the core sector, the ROC 3rd and 5th Infantry Divisions were to stand between Route 29 and the core east boundary some seven miles farther north. Placing the South Koreans on this forward line would tie the X Corps to the left of the ROC 3 Corps, whose line now bulged out to the north far beyond the X Corps front. To back up the South Koreans and secure the core east flank in depth, the 31st Infantry Regiment of General Ferenbors, 7th Infantry Division was to occupy positions at Tadonni, a road junction four miles below Pyongyang. Ferenbors 32nd Infantry Regiment, still holding positions between Chechen and Yongwol, would lend further depth, and the 17th Infantry Regiment, now scheduled to assemble in Corps Reserve near Wonju, could be committed to help. To improve control, Armand requested that the Rock I Corps headquarters be attached to X Corps to take charge of the Rock 3rd and 5th Divisions. General Kim Hong Il and his staff, by virtue of past service under Armand in northeastern Korea, were experienced in joint operations and were well acquainted with the X Corps staff. Ridgeway approved. He arranged to have General Kim and a partial staff flown into the X Corps sector on the 13th and to have Kim's remaining staff follow by truck. The ROC Capital Division, in the meantime, was to pass to ROC 3 Corps control. Chapter 2 Battle Along the northwestern portion of the Wonju defenses, just inside the corner position of the 1st Battalion, 9th Infantry Regiment, PVA coming out of the Hongsong area meanwhile hit the 38th Infantry Regiment. The assaults forced a short withdrawal by the attached Netherlands Battalion on the 38th left and penetrated the 3rd Battalion on the regimental right, but counter-attacks restored the lost ground before noon. Captives identified the force moving on Wonju to be in division strength and to comprise two regiments of the PVA 120th Division and one of the 117th Division. The bulk of this force was sighted from the air moving in several columns across the Somme River northwest of Wonju. Taken and kept under air and massed artillery attack, the PVA at first ignored losses and continued toward Wonju. But as casualties mounted the Chinese faltered, and most turned southwest before reaching the Wonju defenses. By 1500 hours the air strikes and artillery fire stopped the PVA movement altogether, 288 the ROC 3rd and 5th Infantry Divisions, ordered by General Armand on the 13th to withdraw into positions between Wonju and Pyongyang, continued to withdraw on the 14th somewhat below that line. KPAV Corps forces caught up with both divisions during the afternoon of the 14th and briefly engaged each. The ROC 3rd, missing its 18th Regiment and otherwise hurt by casualties, nevertheless managed to put up fair defenses slightly southeast of Wonju and 12 miles above Chechen. But the ROC 5th, next east, became even more disorganized as it withdrew and at dark on the 14th was still assembling around Chechen Ni, 10 miles above Chechen. Its artillery was intact, but it had lost half its other crew served weapons and could muster only the equivalent of four infantry battalions. This left the division scarcely fit to establish defenses before Chechen, let alone send a regiment northeast to Malta Re, as Armand had directed, 
to help tie the X core line to the extended position of the Rock 3 core, 291 to 2 left with a 20 miles west flank neither tied to the X core nor solidly manned, and feeling some pressure on this flank from KPA 2 core forces, especially at Malta Re. General you ordered the Rock 7th and 9th Infantry Divisions at the left and centre of the Rock 3 Corps sector to withdraw near noon on the 14th. The Rock 7th Division moved toward positions adjacent to General Feren Bor's 31st Infantry Regiment below Pyongyang, the Rock 9th Division toward positions at the Rock 7th Division's right, 292 General Ridgeway earlier had recognized that the enemy attacks in the X Corps sector and the X Corps withdrawals might compel some adjustment of the Rock 3 Corps position. Preempting to a degree the authority he had given General Armand to coordinate Rock 3 Corps movements during Operation Roundup, Ridgeway on the 12th permitted General Yu to halt the Rock 3 Corps advance pending the outcome of the attack against Armand's forces. On the 13th, after X Corps had pulled back some 15 miles, he authorized Yu to withdraw his three divisions into defenses along a general southwest northeast line between Pyongyang and Gongnam on the coast. But he intended that Yu withdraw only as a result of enemy pressure and then only in a well fought delaying action whereas Yu's order on the 14th appeared to be an unnecessary surrender of East Shoulder territory. To prevent future rock withdrawals that did not punish and delay enemy forces, Ridgeway directed the Korean Military Advisory Group Chief, General Farrell, to make a habit of posting himself with major rock units when they were withdrawing and to ensure personally that they stayed in contact. In response to the latest ROC-3 core move, he flashed a reminder to you on the 15th that any general withdrawal not forced by enemy pressure violated standing instructions. You received the admonition in time to hold the bulk of the Rock 9th Division generally in its original position. But the Rock 7th Division and 30th Regiment of the Rock 9th had completed their withdrawals, the regiments of the Rock 7th Division standing along Route 60 from a point six miles above Yongwol north to Pyongyang, the 30th Regiment extending the line to the northeast. Since KPA 2 Corps forces from the 9th and 27th Divisions were then approaching Pyongyang from the northwest, you attached the 30th Regiment to the Rock 7th Division and left the force where it was. 292 The ostensible aim of the KPA moving on Pyongyang was to drive Yu's forces out of the town and back from Route 60, thereby opening the road for a strike south against Yongwol. From late afternoon on the 15th of February through early morning on the 18th, the 9th and 27th Divisions launched repeated company and battalion assaults, seized Pyongyang itself, and, in their best effort, drove down Route 60 within 8 miles of Yongwol. On the 16th, after it was clear that you would not be able to return the Rock 7th Division and 30th Regiment to their former positions to the north, General Ridgeway allowed him to pull the remaining. Rock 3 core units to the Pyongyang Gongnung line and gave him specific instructions to stand fast in the Pyongyang area and keep the KPA out of Yongwol. You consequently placed a second regiment in the Pyongyang area as he brought the rest of his forces south. The KPA units, still worn from previous operations, could not sustain their drive against the strong South Korean position, lost most of their gains to rock counterattacks and finally withdrew. By evening of the 18th U's line units were reporting no contact, 293 in the adjacent X Corps sector KPA V Corps forces pushed toward Chechen on 15 February, hitting hard at the 22D regiment in the right half of the Rock 3rd Division's sector. The regiment gave way some on the east but with fire support from 7th Division artillery near Chechen otherwise stood its ground. With no serious results, a few KPA reached Cherchoni to the southeast and briefly fired on the Rock 5th Division, which was still assembling straggling forces and feebly attempting to establish defenses centered on the town, 293 under the arrangements made on 12 February by General Armand and General Ridgeway, the Rock I Corps headquarters took control of the Rock 3rd, 5th, and 8th Divisions at 1400 hours on 15. Armand directed General Kim, the Rock I Corps commander, to defend the Wonju Pyongyang line, a large order given the debilitated condition of the Rock 5th and 8th Divisions and the presence of KPA forces below that line. Because of the current threat to Chechen, 
Kim's initial act was to form a provisional battalion from the remnants of the Rock 8th Division as Corps Reserve, which he assembled north of Chapo Ri behind a two miles gap between the two forward divisions, 293 additional KPAV Corps forces from the 6th, 7th and 12th Divisions meanwhile massed in front of the Rock I Corps. And early on the 16th opened strong assaults against both forward divisions. The Rock 3rd Division, after the 22nd Regiment on the right lost some ground, contained the attack in its sector, but the Rock 5th Division, having been able to organize only fragile positions at Church and Knee, withdrew after KPA forces penetrated the 36th Regiment on the division left. KMAG advisors with the 5th Division and Rock I Corps headquarters notified General Armand that the division's units were not being hit especially hard but were being outmaneuvered and in the process were disintegrating. Before the KPA attack diminished in the evening, the division had fallen back five miles and, in the judgment of the KMAG advisors, was no longer to be counted as an effective force, 293-4 to, to ease the danger to Chechen, only five miles behind the Rock 5th Division, Harman directed General Ferenbor's U.S. 7th Infantry Division to move the 31st Infantry Regiment from the Pyongyang area, where the Rock 7th Division was holding its own, to a position behind the Rock 5th Division. While the KPA threat remained potentially serious, the 31st Regiment in its new position, and the 32nd Infantry Regiment in and around Chechen itself considerably increased Armand's chances of holding the KPA out of the town and off the main X Corps supply route. Further improving the defense of Chechen, the tail end battalion of the 17th Infantry Regiment, which had been moving up Route 29 to the regimental assembly at Wanju, halted along the road behind the Rock 3rd Division. In addition, General Kim shaped another provisional battalion from Rock 8th Division remnants and started it forward to assemble with the one he had formed the day before below the gap between the two forward divisions. That gap had opened to three miles when the Rock 5th Division withdrew, 294 an even wider gap of about seven miles had opened between the right of the Rock 5th Division and the nearest Rock 3 Corps position to the northeast. Although General Yu's left flank forces were handling the KPA 2 Corps units attempting to push down Route 60 into Yongwal, the gap offered the KPA opposite the Rock 5th Division an opportunity to sweep around Yu's flank. Yu, his leftmost forces well occupied and anyway. Obliged by General Ridgeway's orders of the 16th to stand fast in the Pyongyang area, could do nothing about filling the gap, neither could any of the weak rock divisions in the X Corps sector. Ridgeway on the 17th of February consequently directed Armand to push American troops northeast to clear out the KPA and establish firm contact with the Rock 3 Corps. As Ridgeway acted to cover the gap between Corps, it began to appear that the hard assaults on the Rock 3rd and 5th Divisions on the 16th had spent the KPAV Corps. Chapter 3, Aftermath Though General Armand, expecting a strong Chinese strike south of the Hongsong, had emphasized the defense of Wanju, enemy forces made no concerted effort to seize the town after failing to do so on the 14th. Local skirmishes occurred along the Wanju front on the 15th, but on the 16th contact lightened and faded out, 295 infiltration and assaults harassed both South Korean divisions on the 17th and 18th but failed to yield any permanent gain, and on the 18th even the weak Rock 5th Division was able to make one short advance. As contact diminished on the 18th, a battalion from the 31st Infantry patrolled five miles ahead of rock lines before encountering a KPA position. The KPA may have backed off only to reorganize for new attacks, but in light of what had taken place in the meantime along the X Corps west shoulder, their move was more likely part of a general withdrawal, 294-5 following the defeat of the PVA at Chipyongni and the PVA-KPA on the Wanju line, it became apparent that the PVA-KPA forces were retiring from the salient they had created in the central region in the Chinese fourth phase offensive. The withdrawal fit the pattern of PVA-KPA operations observed before, in which assault forces were obliged to pause for refitting after a week or so of battle. During the evening of the 18th of March General Ridgeway planned an advance designed to deny the PVA-KPA any respite in which to prepare new attacks and, in particular, 
designed to destroy those enemy forces moving north out of the Chechen salient. He intended that two principal thrusts by American forces, up Route 29 from Wanju beyond Hong Song and up Route 60 from Yongwol beyond Pyongyang, would block the main paths of PVA-KPA withdrawal. Other forces were to move through and clear the adjacent ground. Given the particular purpose of the attack, he called it Operation Killer, 302.